Jesse. Hello, Judy. Come inside, quick. Jesse Jane. How are you, Jim? Hi, Frank. Hardly knew you behind those whiskers. Hello, Jesse. We were worried about you. Sit down. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, we thought maybe the law got a hold of you. Thought right. What do you mean? Jesse, you haven't been in jail. <laughs> no, Judy. I did a good turn for some folks down in Tennessee. And when Sheriff Mark Tobin caught up with me there, they told him about it. He was right friendly, Frank. No. You mean Mark Tobin gave your freedom? Yeah. Claiming, of course, that it was beyond his jurisdiction. There isn't much freedom we can lay claim to. Not much we can do about it. We can do something about it, Jesse. That's why I asked you to come here tonight. My brother's always full of ideas. What's on your mind, Frank? Jess, we're marked men. But suppose we pay back some of the people who claim to be victims of the James Gang. It would take a powerful lot of money. We've been blamed for most everything that's happened around here for years, whether we were guilty or not. Yes. If we start paying them back, we'll get the people on our side. Then maybe we can clear ourselves with the law. It's a wonderful idea, Jesse. It does sound good. Only one thing wrong. Where are we going to get the money? Tell him, Jim. You know this property here that you and Frank helped me buy? How could I forget it, Jim? Silver mine. The thief that sold it to us sure stuck us with a limp. That's what he thought. We did, too, when the silver petered out. But I found out that the vein really didn't end. It just interrupted by a rock fall. And Jim sure will find the vein as good as ever on the other side of the fall. We'll pay dirt, eh? It's certainly worth a try. Only one thing, though. It needs machinery, men, and money. Mostly money. I think I know where we can get enough to make a start. Where? The Allentown Bank. But, Jesse, I thought... Don't worry, Judy. I didn't mean we'd rob him. Paul Thatcher's an old friend of the family. He runs the bank at Allentown. That's right. He's known Jesse and me since we were kids. I figure he'd like to see the James family straight with the law again. If only for Ma and Pa's sake. Of course. But won't it be dangerous? Why, the sheriff... Don't will... worry, Judy. Jesse and me can take care of ourselves in case there's trouble. Sure you can. Better stay with the horses, Frank. Howdy, Mr. Thatcher. I haven't seen you since... You'll get no money out of me, so you might as well get out of here. But I only need a thousand dollars. Oh, it's only a thousand now. Well, you'll get a thousand no quicker than you'd get ten thousand. Now get out of here before I forget what fine people your family were and call the sheriff. How did you know I wanted some money? Thatcher, leave $10,000 in the deserted shack on Oak Ridge or I'll raid your bank and the town, Jesse James. I didn't write that note, Mr. Thatcher. Son, I never knew a James that was a liar. Sit down. This is a holdup, gents. Keep your hands in sight and take it easy like. Looking down the barrel of Jesse James' gun. Pass the cash box over.
attempted hold-up, Sheriff. And but for Mr. Howard and uh, Mr. Carroll here, those two bandits would have gotten away. Howard and Carroll, huh? You look a mite familiar. Haven't we met before? It's possible, Sheriff. You meet a lot of people in your business. I don't know, we might have crossed trails somewhere. Well, if we haven't, this is a good beginning. All right, you men, on your way. I'm sorry, son. I might have known that you and this young man weren't like that breed of skunks. Now, tell me, why are you here? Well, we've figured out a plan, Mr. Thatcher, and we need your help. We want to return the money. I think it's a fine thing you two boys are doing. Just sign where I've marked the cross there. Of course, you understand, I can't advance any money until I get a good report on the mine. Naturally. We wouldn't want you to buy a pig in a poke. Uh, of course not. I'll send a man by the name of Amos Ramsey up the mine as my agent. He'll work with Powell. Does he know his business? Oh, yes. He's an expert mining engineer. Comes highly recommended from the East. Sounds fine. Thanks again, Mr. Thatcher. You'll never regret it. Best of luck. And after Mr. Ramsey finished all his tests, did he think you were right about the silver vein beginning again beyond the rock fault? No matter what any of us thinks, Judy, we still got to prove it. Well, Amos should be all set to blast by now. Well, in half an hour, Judy, we ought to know right where we stand. Good luck, Dad. Keep your fingers crossed. How's it look, Ramsey? Well, it's peculiar rock formation. It made me wonder whether you found anything else here besides silver. Not that I know of. Why? Oh, oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Well, it's all set. Oh, good. I see. Yeah. Yeah, it is a peculiar formation. Peculiar? It's gold and as rich a vein as I ever saw. Yeah, it does look like it. We'd better take it easy. Man, how can you say such a thing? Why, this mine's worth a fortune. This ain't no time to take it easy. This calls for action. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Bow. This does call for action. Select a couple of specimens, will you? We should make an assay. Sure. Just think, Ramsey. All through the lean years, this vein was hidden right here under a few feet of rock. And mark my word, that assay will show more gold to the ton than the birds got feathers to the inch. Why, Judy will be able to have every day. <laughs> Some tea? Nothing. Thank you, Rosita. Dear Jesse and Frank. What I can't understand is how this could have happened to Jim. Mr. Ramsey said Dad tripped and fell after lighting the charge. We'd have to have been something like that. Jim was too old of a hand to get caught, except by accident. What do you think of this man, Ramsey? He's been very helpful and sympathetic, and he does seem to know his business. Well, that's good. But I think Frank and I should come out of hiding so we can be close to the mine. You'd do that despite the danger? Because of it, Judy. We can't go on living in cellars and caves forever. I could introduce you to Mr. Ramsey as my cousin. Well, then it's settled. We'll ride back here tomorrow and meet Mr. Ramsey.
Hello, Miss Judy. Hello, Mr. Ramsey. These are my cousins, John Howard and Bob Carroll. How do you do, Ramsey? Glad to know you. Howdy. Howdy. Miss Judy told me you were coming on to help. I'm glad you're here. There's a lot of work to be done. Fair enough. You name the jobs and we'll do them. Good. I've got some more samples here that must be taken to Mr. Thatcher. I'll tote them. No, I might as well take them, Bob. I have to see Mr. Thatcher anyway. He wants me to sign the necessary papers for taking over Dad's share of the mine. All right, Judy. I'll take you to Lone Jack and put you on the stagecoach. Bob, you stay here and get acquainted. Here they are, Miss Judy. Have a good trip. Thanks. Nice to have met you, Ramsey. Thanks. Same to you. I'll have a look around. Well. When I knew you back in Missouri, you were well thought of. Traveled with society folks. Now you sent for me to do a hold-up for you. What's your game? Well, it's said that every man has his price, Rafe. Mine happens to be a vein of gold as broad as your arm is long. Does that answer your question? Sounds reasonable. I'll throw in with you. Where do I begin? Well, the ore for the Allentown Bank will be on the noon stage today. Now that Reach is there, everyone will know there's gold, not silver, in the mine. I want you... Bye, Judy. Let us know when you're coming back. We'll meet you here. All right, John. I will. turn back. You don't have to turn back. Climb down. If you live, you can tell folks you met up with Jesse James. Give me the key to the strong box. There'll be a posse after as soon as the driver gets to town. Robbers! Speak up, man. What happened? Well, two of the James gang grabbed the coach and the girl. They took off on the hill road up Yellow Horse Canyon. Get your horses, man. 